Okay, here we are back in Legend Heroes, Trails of Cold Steel 4. We last left off, we got you-know-who back, so let's proceed and see what happens. I imagine that's probably not going to be voice acted here, so no chance for me to relax. Okay, we have a two-day skip. <laughs> Where am I? Oh, right. This must be Emma's hometown. <clears throat> Altina. Guess I've kept her pretty worried all this time. She must have fallen asleep watching over me. Instructor Rain? Oh, morning, everyone. Sorry, looks like I overslept a bit. And we have so much to talk about, too. <laughs> Thank goodness! I was almost afraid you'd never wake up! <laughs> you guys... She's not the only one. We've all been ill at ease. Even after we managed to escape, the moment we made it to Aaron, you were out for nearly an entire day. We've all been taking turns waiting ever faithfully by your bedside. Old and new Class 7 alike. And I, for one, relish the opportunity to gaze longingly at your sweet sleeping face, like a vision into my future. Really, Muse? I mean, really? <laughs> Floozy's gonna flooz. Anyway, stop coddling him already. The guy's a grown-ass man. So you say, but you were just as eager as the rest of us to stand watch. Oh yeah, I thought for sure you'd just ditch, going on and on about how much you don't care. Oh, it was just so sweet. He sat right by your side, the very picture of concern. Like hell I did! Quit making shit up, you damn snitches! <laughs> it's good to have you back with us, Ash. I wasn't sure if you were okay, let alone if I'd ever see you again. Class 7 just wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> well, what can I say? Shit happens. Besides, I wasn't the one chained up in a workshop. Compared to you, I've had it easy. <laughs> I suppose so. And Muse, I know this puts you in a difficult spot, but either way, Thank you for coming back. You still have your own moves to play. I understand that. But for now, I'm glad you've decided to be here with us. As am I. Though frankly, even I'm not quite sure how it happened. I suppose I have no choice but to stay right at your side until I find out. Glad to hear it. Oh, there she goes again. <laughs> but it wouldn't be the same without her. As for you two, Yuna, Kurt, it seems you spared no effort coming to my aid. I can't thank you enough for that. <laughs> oh. Instructor. Well, I mean, we kinda owed you, you know? You've come to our rescue plenty of times. It's only right we return the favor. If there's one thing you've taught us, it's to think and act for ourselves. Having the opportunity to put those lessons into practice was an experience unlike any other. But even then, we owed the bulk of our success to the old Class 7, and everyone else who had our backs. Still, thank you all the same. <sighs> Allie? <laughs> Rise and shine, Sleepy Bunny. Why is everyone here? Oh. Good morning, Altina. I can only imagine all the struggles and doubts you must have gone through. But you never stopped moving forward with everyone else. I'm proud of you. It's good to be back. Instructor Reen! I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Alright. 
Seems we're all forgetting the most important part. Maybe it's a little unfair of us to steal the first chance, but nevertheless, shall we? Welcome back, Instructorine! And my little reprieve is over. Oh, wow, that sure suits you. The others from my village helped prepare it for you. That old coat of yours was practically shredded to pieces. This new one even has enchantments woven into it that'll help you keep your mana under control. Grandmother Vita and Selene all helped out. I am surprised Selene's finally back in her camp form. I won't sort everything out on its own, but you might as well keep it on. I'm not sure if the design will suit your taste, but don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Seriously, it's great. I really appreciate all the work you've put into it. I doubt I can ever thank you all en enough. You are most welcome. It's going to take some getting used to, but I think it'll work. Yeah, it goes better with the new hair color. Looks cool, I like it. The white was cute, but this has a charm all its own. I like the black better, too. It's a little too much for my taste. You can pull it off, though, Rain. Yes, it isn't so much the clothes, but how you wear them. This ain't a fashion show, but you don't look half bad. All jokes aside, it really does suit you. Looks like it's pretty durable, too. It should serve you well. It's perfect for setting out on a new journey. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think, I'll like, I think I like it, too. Thanks again, everybody. Hate to put a downer on things, but there's something we need to be clear about. There's no cure for the curse that's affecting me. I'll stay the sacrifice until the Great Twilight ends. Guess it's my destiny. All this was decided for me ever since I was little. Instructor? Damn it. But that doesn't mean you're going to give up, does it? No, of course not. I'm the one who started all this, so I have to see it through. I'll keep moving forward and do what I believe is right up till the bitter end. But this curse, my becoming an Awakener, the rivalries, it may feel overwhelming sometimes, but I want to see how it all plays out. Well said. Guess we need to look into what Crow told us about. I'm not gonna lie, I don't care for the code. <laughs> The art shows him coatless, which I'm hoping we can do. We're officially off the radar. I think we're safe. That was crazy. He was just about to have a heart attack. Well done, both of you. Now let's find somewhere to land. Actually, I think this is where we part ways. Crow? You're not coming with us? Nah, just doesn't feel right, you know? Besides, with the rivalry starting, there's no time to be making friends. You mean... You're talking about the fate that awaits all Awakeners. I was never trying to make friends in the first place. Come on, it's high time we left. That really is a shame. You're both so cruel. I wouldn't have minded welcoming you into our ranks for a while. Duvali in particular would be well worth training myself. She does seem like the type to respond to a little tough love. How about letting us pick up where Arian Road and Leon left off? You two are far too unpredictable for that. And Vita, you're not even a swordswoman. Let me ask you something. Crow, how much do you know about the rivalries? Probably about as much as you. You feel it too, right? The knowledge that our destiny is coming in hot. And where it's all gonna go down. You mean... So it's true after all. Well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Don't forget I was the one that let you that led you to become an Awakener. I'd be more than willing to stay by you until you're ready to go. Uh... 
It's a tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. If I went along with you, I'd be giving up my life in a very different way. That is a shame, but it was nice seeing you again, Crow. Right back at you. Do you think you guys cannot flirt right on top of me like this? Well, if you want to know about the rivalry, you should head to the, over to the Spirit Shrine. The place where I had a near miss with you when I was Zeke. I was thinking of checking it out myself. So that's two less people you have to talk to in town. Bit of a relief. You mean the mysterious shrines? Yes, the gnomes previously used them for refining their Zemurian ore. During the Civil War, several of them were spotted in the eastern regions of the Empire. There was even one nearby Lagram. Our class assisted them up our clan assisted them up until nine hundred years ago, right? So I've heard, it was before my time, so I don't know as much as I would like. One of the duties of the Wandering Witches has been to monitor the shrines for any irregularities. They serve as more than simple refineries for Zemurian ore. I see. There have been reports of strange lights and other phenomena in the surrounding areas, too. Are we any closer to finding the place Crow was talking about? It's supposed to be connected to where you fought him as Azure Siegfried, right? That should narrow things down. It must be where we went on Felix says in Lemaire. Right, I can't think of anywhere else that would fit the bill. That was back when you were searching for Milium, yes? Yeah, on Brioni Island off the coast of Ordus. The Soul Shrine there could be the answers could hold the answers we're looking for. Crow's probably investigating as we speak. I want to get out there and find out what he knows as soon as possible. As for you guys. Hey, you're not about to tell us to stay behind, are you? Yes, now go to your room. Rain, you wouldn't be that stubborn, would you? You've always tended towards self-sacrifice, but there are limits to how much you can do on your own. We won't allow you to go through this all alone. You'll just end up making the same mistakes again if we're not there to keep you in line. Hey, I'm well aware of how I've behaved in this situation before, but... This curse isn't something we can afford to ignore. I've got no way of knowing when it might make me go berserk. I'm just trying to keep you all safe in case that happens again. How annoying. You think we can't keep you in line? Give us some credit. Your students brought you back to your senses at the workshop. There's no reason that wouldn't work a second time. Well, we didn't exactly do that alone. I'm confident we'll be able to handle it, though. Yeah, we've already done it once, so it should be, it'll be easier to knock some sense into you next time. Tough love can be fun, too, once in a while. Youth. You have to be... You have to have known this is how everyone would respond. Wouldn't that have been you had to have known? Reen, we're class 7. Don't you dare underestimate us. We've been through countless battles up till now. We, you know what we're capable of. Even when you and the Sword of the End fell into the deepest darkness, we found a way to bring you back. That place? It was so much like the darkness Milliam and I were born into. After facing that, I do not fear anything. I'll get the Merkaba ready to depart. I'm still getting used to how it handles, but it's better to have some backup, right? Plus, we have it set up so we can take the Panzer Soldats too, not just Valimar. That's awesome. That will be a big help. Thank you, everyone. With you, I know I can... No. We're all going to push our way forward. Together. Right! Act 2. Guiding Starlight. Now that everything's aside, we better make sure we're prepared before setting out. Sorry to drag you all into this. It's a little late for apologies. It's only natural for us to help out since we owe you so much already. We know this place fairly well by now, so feel free to ask us if you need any assistance. And there's always the fairy spring if you want to take some time out to unwind. There she goes again. Alright, I guess I'll take a look around. So many people helped to get me here, not just Elisa and the others. Maybe I should go thank them in person. Received Emma's hat and glasses. Milliam, Vita, Agate, Thomas, Rosine, Josette notes. Holy. Who's all in here? It's you guys. We finished our preparations. We can depart anytime. That new Raymond of yours, well, becomes Irene. Thanks, Vita. 
But seriously, thank you for sticking with me. You're welcome. I'd always wanted to get a look at the workshop in person anyway. I'm glad Thomas and the General agreed to help us. Don't go thinking you're off the hook yet. If you knew what we were doing, you could have contacted us. Wait, didn't you get in touch right before everything went down? That, let's just say, was a little insurance. And it came through at the best possible moment. What are we going to do with you? You're just as flaky as ever. You haven't changed all that much in the time I've known you. How about that? It's hard to imagine Vita living here with all of you. Grianos and I lived here as well. It takes me back. What has it been, ten years now? This room hasn't changed at all. You could have gotten rid of my bed, you know. No way, we always knew you might come back someday. We didn't want you to drop in on us and have nowhere to sleep. You must have been pretty desperate to see me again. Maybe if you called more often, we wouldn't have to worry about you so much. You tell her, Emma. And Grandmother, you could stand to be honest about how you feel, too. Wow, Emma's really something when she gets going. No wonder she was class president in your day. Yeah, it's like she was born for that role. Oh my god, there's more of these? So we get the Vita note. Another one, I think. Kinda wish I had more time. Being here feels so nostalgic. Anyway, I'll leave Crow to you guys. You should be able to tell you more about the rivals or and the Curse of the Empire. Spent so much time with the gnomes, he probably knows even more than I do. Vita. In other words, you're not going to tell us anything. You were such a sweet child once. Where did we go wrong? Alright, have it your way. We'll get to the truth eventually. As for Crow, I promise we'll take care of him. Thank you, Reen. I knew I could count on you. So we're going to do the Selene note, and then we'll talk to everyone. Seeing the two of you together is so touching. If only Grianos could be here, too. That would be nice. Wasn't he sliced apart right down to his soul? I'll admit that was unfortunate. But I'm gathering up the scattered pieces of his power, so he should be able to return one day. If I can't do that much, I'm not worthy of being called the Azure Abyss. With your abilities, it might just be possible. How infuriating. It took me at least a century to master creating a familiar. I'm sure Vita only picked it up this fast because she had your knowledge and experience to draw on, Grandmother. How do we get around to talking about something so weird? They are witches, after all. I guess this is normal for them. Hey, Selene, aren't you going to change into human form? I was looking forward to seeing that. Yeah, you're right. I'm so used to you being a cat, I didn't even notice you changed back. What a waste. You look so cute. I already told you, it's not form like shape shapeshifting into. Seems like she's not too keen on the idea. She has her reasons, no doubt. She probably prefers being on four legs than two. Listen up, I'm not turning into a human, you got that? Yeah, I know. Anyway, I'll leave Crow in your hands. You should be able to tell you more about the rivalries and the Curse of the Empire. Yeah, she already said that. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked. I don't like it, but I know what you have to leave again. You should at least go say hello to everyone before you go. Sure, sure, I can do that. And that's just a repeat. At this rate, your departure is going to be delayed a little more. Please feel free to take your time and relax. Maybe visit the hot springs. Oh, and one other thing. Some of the children have been playing this VM game recently. Try it out myself. It's not a bad way to pass the time. She's talking about Vantage Masters. If you have a moment to spare, perhaps you have a, you'd like to play a match or two with me. Just for practice, perhaps. She seems really into it. She's that passionate about it. I guess I could play a few games with her. Can now play against pros. Now that you're back, no, thing, no doubt things will progress for better or worse, and it seems Vita will be leaving again. Well, it's fine. At this point, I think I've scolded her for just about everything I can. Please feel free to take your time and relax, maybe even visit the hot springs. So yeah, I had to memorize that entire thing in one second because I accidentally pushed the button thinking it was a repeat. So, what all do I have for decks? Alright, oh, right. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna stick with deck one. Crimson really is that you using the witch card. You first, you first. Uh, so, I'll keep these. I'd rather get my range guy up. I'm gonna move four to protect it. And poke. So, she can hit you for th four damage? Wow! That's literally what I was afraid of. I'm not going to be able to get any range, guys, here. Or 
Earth beats water, but there's not too much I can do. Yeah, this one could very well be over already. I seriously needed a crystal here. More range, guys. <laughs> so when that shoots the Reiku... Oh. Okay, that gives us a small opportunity here. So, what are you going to hit that one for? Only two. See, I think my strategy here is try to pick up as many crystals as possible so that I can just use my bow to attack the witch. Okay, that gives me an opening I can use. And now that she's in the back row, can I still hit her without her being able to hit back? So I think my best course of action here is to seal her. Now can I hit her without getting hit back? God to your healing, I forgot. Okay, that screws up my strategy. So right now I need the car draw pretty badly. Should have put it in the back row. Because, well, she used her skills, so it doesn't matter in the end.
I'm actually going to hold on to this. Okay, we got our voice to spell there. So I want to save the crystals for when I start shooting the witch directly, and I guess all the crystals are at the bottom of my deck or something. So yeah, my strategy now is just shoot her directly. It's very possible we're the only two cards left. It's going to take her three turns to kill me, but when I drop those crystals it'll take me two turns to kill her. We even have a Zen pen to keep us company. Gonna hold on to this last crystal because I shouldn't need it just yet. So yeah, I have to say, Witch would probably beat the hell out of Sister. Three turns. Unless I get a monster or something here. I need to pop her shield. She gets another one, that's it. I literally can't do anything left. she pulls, she can still squeak by with a win. The question is, can she kill me before I get my next attack off, or block my next attack? And she chose to use her magic instead. So she has exactly enough damage there to kill me. Reduce cards, I don't even know what those do. Um, how do we triangle? So those are magic cards. Reduce. Reduce. Eh, that's kinda lame actually. 
to be honest, I'm not really expecting to win this. Let the game commence. As long as she can deal four points of damage on turn one, there's literally nothing I can do to keep my guys alive. That's the danger of her on turn one, I guess. Okay. Two damage to a row. So I can do this to pick off her ranged guy. Poke her back. So she can just blow up the fairy there. So let's get back here. Drop a crystal so I can blow up the blicks. So she can blow up one, but I can shoot with the other. So I can attack her directly this turn. With Ranger, that is. And I'm actually going to use this now, just so I can hit her for 5. That way I can kill her potentially in 4 turns instead of 5. She's going to go for the uh, ranged guy. She doesn't play anything, this is a ma- okay, there it goes. <laughs> I was about to say, it's going to be a massive turn for me. And if I don't kill the Zam Pen, then it will... Actually, there's a way now. So I do want to use this so I can hit it safely. Have this one attack. There we go, we can kill her in two turns. Potentially next turn, depending on what I get. And what she gets. So yeah. <laughs> it's gonna take a few turns now. So there goes my healing, but it's not really that much I lost, to be perfectly honest. I still have the means to kill her in three turns. Actually, a good trade for me. Figured it'd be more healers just to draw the game out. So, from going to two turns to win, we're back up to three. If 
she's smart, she'll go for the penguin. So I have to kill their penguin before I get sealed. And unless she heals, she's dead next turn. Neither one of those should be able to... Oh no, no I had backwards. They can kill it fairly easily and safely. Okay, everyone wants peace, come and get it. So ironically, she didn't do the heal thing to buy a turn. So she has enough points out there to kill me next turn. Um, I don't see anyone on the bottom floor, so let's duck out here. Wow, lots of people to talk to. It's probably the most intelligent thing I'm gonna hear, Cerberus. Cerberus, good to see you, buddy. Is he trying to come for me? Thanks, boy. You doing good these days? But any of my favorite customers. Team Thors, what are you guys up to? Making the goodbye tour before you depart? More of a thank you tour, really. I've got a show I've got a lot of people I need to show my gratitude to. Not least of all you, Josette. You're a lifesaver in every sense of the word. You put yourself through so much danger and just for my sake, too. Don't mention it, and what you've been through is the least I could do. No kidding about that danger, though. What with the military tightening its grip? Still, we decided that helping you was only, only the right thing to do. It's not like you forced us. I appreciate it either way. You and your brothers have been taking the bobcat all over the place, huh? This problem isn't Erebonia's alone, right? You've been flying back and forth from Laboral and Calvert for the most part. You are, huh? Well, if you find yourself running low on arms, you know who to call. Anti-air missiles, bunker busters, you name it, we got it. Hard pass, the machine guns and cannons do just fine. Things are different now, Jingo. We're not Sky Bandits anymore, you know. Well, if you ever want to go back, that bridge is still there. I do remember us hearing a thing or two about that. So your armaments came from Nine Volley, then? Yeah, things are looking to get a bit rough and tumble in the near future. They're secondhand, obviously, given our budget. I threw in some free ammo. Think of it as a one-time limited offer. That baby's full auto, so you can really eat through it if you're not careful. I'll keep that in mind. We'll put in an order if we start to run low. You're, you have, you're quite the connection to have, Jingo. She's done much for us as well. By the way, Jingo, what are your plans from here? I heard you were planning on leaving Aaron. I'm guessing you're returning back to Crossbill? Nah, I plan on keeping running my own gig. Got a pack schedule myself. Big jobs to take care of and all. Gonna hitch a ride with the Kapuas for that, part way at least. Big jobs, huh? Gotta say, I'm kinda curious. Though ignorance may be bliss in this case. It's only natural someone in Jingo's trade would keep busy given the way the world's turning. Either way, you've been a great help to us. I'm sure we'll see more of you again, wherever that might be. Sure thing, I'll make sure to have the good stuff ready for you. Good luck out there, guys. Same to you, Jingo. I'll stick around a bit longer to exchange some more intel. We can all meet up later, okay? But of course, see you in a bit. Looks like we won't be able to see you guys for a while. Things are probably going to get even more dangerous from here now, but I believe you'll get through it. Gotta be careful here. Just let me know if you need anything, specifically if it's grenades, because I got a ton of them on standby. Guess that's good to know. Figure you'd set up shop around the battlefield if you could, Jingo. Don't know if I, whether I'd be impressed or creeped out. Why? Is that such a weird thing? My mom did back when she was my age. Where did she was the best weapons merchant around? Everybody wanted a piece of her wares. Still got a long way to go before I'm up to her level. So that's where she gets it. Suddenly, a lot of stuff Jingo says and does makes a lot more sense. Just hope she and Josette don't take too many unnecessary risks. Wanna buy something? Okay, there's nothing there for us. I got some good stuff. Down to 63 materials. So, unfortunately, I took quite a few days off. So, I don't remember where all I left off on. I still have to look at my guy and see what they have equipped after all that crap we just went through. Speed 20. 
victory belt. We're missing the jacket. Need to find the silver and glass coin. Need more proverbs. I can buy these if I wanted. Need to find some pecky. Um, Septium vein we have equipped. We have ingenuity. Although I... Eh, we don't need more than one. We're only going to have one caster in the party at one time. Done already? Compared to Mom, I'm still a rookie, but she told me to do whatever I want for now, so I've been doing business here and there. Anyway, I gotta go soon. Last chance to let me know if there's anything you want. It's goodbye for now, but I'm sure we'll need their help again soon. We're gonna need to exchange some information. I'll meet up with you later. Don't you worry, I'll make sure everyone on the ship stays safe and sound. You guys take care, I hope to meet you again sometime. Here's the way down. So, let's take a look. So, I had no accessories on any of these guys for that fight. I still had a holy chain on him, though. Um... I may have had that one in use. I think I had that one in use. Had that in use, and that one. No, I might be able to use that one. Okay, so first things first, we know Kurt's gonna dodge. So, it was Kaiser Mishi, I believe. Gave him 12%, and then the green emblem. So I actually could leave one of these on Fee, I guess. Okay, that reminds me, she had the break thing. He didn't have Kaiser Mishi, he had the belt. Eh. Kaiser Mishi's better. So yeah, she had the rider gloves. And then something for CP region. I think it might have been this one because you get the surge of strength. And then for her, she had the blue emblem. And something more for helping cast. She might have had the Azurite watch just for more speed, I think. Dark Emblem is 10. The watch is 12 speed with some endurance stuff. They both prevent delay, but this also prevents death blow. Um, probably should have looked at these. <laughs> Lose on some defense, but yeah, it's not really worth. Okay, do they have full ornaments at least? Yes. That one I'm content to leave as is. Although I could swap over to Minotaurus, I guess, if I want to try to do like I did in Cold Steel 3. Gloom, that reminds me. So if we're going to do him the way we did in Cold Steel 3, he would have Gloom. And then Kurt would have... Which one is it? Was it Scold as a sub? So, odds are I'm not going to get damage, which is why Regulus is not good. I'm not going to cast, so I won't get anything on Beowulf. I don't want to uh, use another Wind one, because that limits his spell variety. I'm actually tempted to give him Deva, because I can potentially dodge magic. <laughs> Although I can absorb both Katze. It's a very strong case made for Dunamis. Oh yeah, we're just again with Dunamis for now. So she has Beowulf. You have to kill stuff to get the CP, which is what sucks. What's her first one? Kaleido. She's the team healer. gonna do Zephyr, I think, because we have a chance to punish them with a counterattack. So one Gloom, one Zephyr. It's up to you which one's which. Speed-wise, Kurt's a little bit faster. Ah, I think 
I add Titania as the sub for her. Because that way I can always swing at stuff. The, re the thing that works against this, though, is the Silver Thorn. Yeah, this makes no sense. You get CP for killing stuff, or you can get CP for killing stuff. And this one is much better than this one. Like, even in art power. But that could be due to the level ups. I think I'm gonna take this one. Because we'll have green possibly inflicting status effects. So overall, it gives me water, wind, one time, one. Uh, one of each of the higher elements. The thing is, a lot of these are low power spells. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. There's something at the springs, it looks like. We'll go this way. I want to know more about all sorts of things, like how to turn Loki into a full-fledged familiar, just like Selene. Wow, you, did you get all that power? How'd you get that, all that power inside you? I can sense a deep black darkness. Never felt anything like this before. Nice to meet you too. What's with the kid? I know, right? She's a peculiar one for sure. Her interest in the instructor seems to know no bounds, though I suppose that isn't particularly of note. So we have Thomas and Rosine over there, it looks like. Or is that Gaius with him? It's Gaius. Yeah, so, young Mr. Shores, are here you're leaving us. Yes, everyone here has been a huge help. I can't thank you enough. No, guiding the Awakeners is merely our duty. I fear your real hardships have only just begun. To continue onward, even if it means having to become the sacrifice. Do be careful. Try not to be too reckless. Thank you for your concern. Instructor. wonder if there's something we can do for him. Yeah, me too. Chico said she'll be leaving to head home with all of you. Wish I could have taught her a little more history, but I knew she wouldn't be staying here forever. And as talented as she is, I'm sure she'll manage just fine no matter where she goes. Perhaps I should prepare some kind of parting gift for her. So if we're leaving Aaron, does that mean that, um, we're moving back to Leaves or something? No new fish listed. Crimson Mist Cape. Ooh, that is kind of nice. Green's Glasses. Yeah, right. Should have hovered over that just to try to mess with people. So, Thief, I don't remember what... Oh, he attacked... Yeah. Holy crap. So you can turn Elisa into a redhead. Elliot with green hair. Sadly, you can't... Hazel hair. What? Why are all of hers brown? That makes no sense. Turquoise Fee. Green Gaius. You turn Reen into a brunette. Blue hair Sarah. Yeah, we'll part with a thousand here. Actually, no, since. I am going to get these for Reen, but that's it, I think. Yeah. Just so he gets the movement. Although, Altina... What? Yeah, we'll get one for her, too, but I'm going to hold off because I think there may be upgrades coming in a moment. Better ones, possibly. Oh, Thomas was here. It wasn't my imagination. Whoa, is this the ignorant cults? They've got the kin of Vigarna, too. All these books have been banned by the church. Pretty audacious to have them sitting on the shelves like this. You say that, but you don't seem to be outraged at seeing them here. The owner's gonna choose Scholar Zest for forbidden texts. That said, I don't believe these have any information in them that's truly dangerous, though. You don't get a chance like this every day. Maybe I'll just pick up one or... That's expensive. I'm starting to wish I got Kevin to bring back everything from the recluse cube. That's reference to Sky 3. Guess I'll just have to save up every spare mirror I can until I can afford them. This guy works for the church? He's the one priest who actually took the vow of poverty. 
Up till now, he's only shown us his good proper side, but... Ah, hello everyone. You seem like you're ready to head off. No last name. Why, hello there. I'm so glad to see you've recovered, Reen. Thanks, Rosine. It helped a lot that you came to assist us back there. And Instructor Thomas, thank you for helping us by using the partition. Not at all. It was only possible because you were all the ones inside it. In that respect, I do think it's really thanks to Gaius and the new Class 7. I'd say their strength was the largest factor, including the presence of the Panzer Soldats. Really, we didn't do all that much. No kidding. Our efforts had a minimal impact compared to everyone else. Never underestimate what the power of love can do. Anyway, that ship the Merkaba, it's a ship that belongs to the Grawls Ritter, isn't it? That's right, it's given to Dominions like Gaius and myself to help us in the course of our Grawls Ritter duties. In addition to the engine specs being a bit over the top, it even has state-of-the-art facilities and weapons included. I only just inherited from Barkhorn, so I'm still getting used to it. It's part of the reason I wanted Rosine to come. The backup she provided was essential. I'm just glad I could help. That's great, it's comforting knowing that we have you on our side. Instructor Thomas, will you be heading back to your Merkaba? Yes, I'll be covering the eastern portion of the Empire as well as working together with Grawls Ritter Headquarters. Of the twelve Merkabas we have, four of them were supposed to join us. But the fourth and ninth Dominions, along with their Merkabas, were called away to respond to other threats. Could that be a setup for the next game? Not Dusk, Daybreak, or whatever? Guess there are problems all over the continent, not just in Erebonia. Wait a second, which number is Wazy? He might be number nine. Seems to be the case. I'll try to get hold of any useful information I can while I'm at it. Or wait, four and nine, couldn't that be Wazy and Kevin? Let's see. I'm really curious. We are going to stop the video for a second. Uh, Trails Wiki. So, search Wazy Hemisphere. He is the ninth. And Kevin Graham. He is the fifth. So, the fourth is someone. I, I don't know. Do they reveal who the fourth Grawls Ritter is? They don't even have a list of them here on the wiki. That sucks. Let's see. If we search under Dominion instead... Okay, no they don't. We know 1, 2, 5, 8, 9. 1 being Ein, of course. Right now, I'm just glad you're back with us, Rain. It's a lot off my mind. You never really stop worrying about your old students. Thank you, Instructor Thomas. It's really great to have you back with us. So yeah, I really wouldn't be surprised if Wazy was in Daybreak. I'll be working here to provide backup for Gaius. Still, it makes me happy to be able to talk with you again. The situation seems dire, I know, but it's not without hope. We can't give up. Okay, I already spoke to you. You had your turn, woman. The story is fantastic. It's a true goldmine of knowledge. An oasis. I guess I'll just have to save every spear I can until I can afford some of these. Just glad you're having fun. I get that Thomas and Rosina are part of the Grawls Ritter, but honestly, they haven't changed a bit since I knew them back at Thor's. I get what you mean. Father Thomas has always been obsessed with history, and Rosina was constantly helping with the Church and Trista. It's thanks to them that I woke to my true calling as a Grawls Ritter as early as I did. And their presence in my life, as well as all that happened with Father Barkhorn, was thanks to the hand of Adios and the wind. You seem to have found your place, that's for sure. And with that, we're out of here. Well, well, looks like you three got a pretty good soaking. Yep, couldn't pass up the opportunity. No okay, kidding, I feel like a new man thanks to that bath. Should hope so, you you take to hot springs like a slovenly old fogey aching all over. And what's wrong with that? Some of us have day jobs running us ragged, you know. You guys. To be fair, it's hard not to let yourself go once you settle in. You're telling me. Anyway, try not to get all, or not to get all prim and proper on you guys, but I want to extend my thanks. Come now, Reen. You know we couldn't do a thing without you. Just relax yourself, enjoy some luxury for once. My, it really is sweet how you, well you all get along. There truly is something precious about it. Loki. Don't you get bored, dude? Dear, he's rather wary, isn't he? It's an understandable stance to take, given the circumstances. Sorry to scare you like that little guy, no harm intended. Guess he must be a familiar. Looks like he's watching over the hot spring. I think he wants to show you over to the hot spring. Damn, still? What a bro. Well, he is offering, after all. Maybe we can take a dip before we head out.
kind of curious if you guys can hear the PS4 going. Gotta say, I never thought they'd have a hot spring here of all places. Not so sure how I feel about indulging like this right before we leave, though. Well, you certainly seem to be enjoying it from where we're sitting. You couldn't be soaking it any harder if you were a sponge. Still not over this whole mixed bathing thing. The coverage of these towels is near identical to that of a swimsuit. Besides, Instructor Rain's a hot springs paradise local. I imagine one may find him a bit more immune than most. But if, say, an unfortunate accident were to occur, with maybe a bit of skin-to-skin -skin for good measure, it would be a different story, I concur. Music, cut it out, and you, Allie, stop playing along. My, my, and I thought I was a Hot Springs fanatic. Aurelia? Yep. Sorry, Principal Liquid, looks like we beat you to the punch. Are you two here for a soak, too? Yep, we wanted to go in one last time. We've been to some fun places, yes, but certainly none so nice as these springs. Must say, I must have been here a good half dozen times since yesterday myself. Don't you have a job, woman? Could have easily hit the double di double figures, but you had you awoken a little later. Can't say I blame you. They're sitting over there conspiring against you two. You must overthrow them. Well, good to see they don't mind burying themselves. Unlike you chicks, the Rakshas has actually got something to bear. The principal's presence certainly is overwhelming. Darn, I suppose I'll just have to wait until next time to stand a chance. A one-track mind as usual, I see. If it makes you feel any better, yours have gotten pretty big too, you know. I'm certainly no match for you or Lady Mildine over there by any standard. Kia, shush, not in front of the guys. It's different for everyone, Ren. You still have some time to get there. I concur, I estimate both of you still have a two-year grace period before we can properly judge. I wonder if anyone will notice if I make my way out now. You're so innocent, it's making me cringe. After getting out, everyone enjoyed some coffee milk and fruit milk, courtesy of the owner of the inn. I got a bit longer before parting ways. So we get our CP and assault points, we also get some Thor unity for some reason. That's a pretty low bar for unity, just saying. My chest feels lighter now that Class 7 has you back. It's good to see you, Rain. Good to see you too, Uses. Don't remember the last time I felt this energetic. It's far from over, but I'm glad that at least you're back with us. Don't you think Uses likes teasing me a little too much? It's not what I like when we were back. When we were at Thor's, he's not mean about it anymore. That's true. Okay, let's see. We'll go this way. Need to take a look at Reed's orbit now that I think about it. Finally gets to see the Ashen Knight, and that's the condition he's in. Sorry, maybe if I were more skilled. Don't apologize, boys. Condition reflects the state of his awakener. There was nothing you could have done. All goes back to the gnomes and the rivalries, right? It's no time to sit around feeling sorry for yourself. Just gotta get back on your feet and do what you can. You're right. Hope you can give Valimar another look over the next time we're here. Sure thing. I'll tune him up anytime you want. I got a reputation to live up to, after all. What are these two talking about? I'm finding it hard to follow myself, but it seems pretty certain that there's something in the shrine on Brioni Island. Not all spirit shrines are created equal. The ones that sprung up in the west and right are up there with the best of them. Are right up there with the best of them. Back in the day, they were referred to as holy shrines. According to legend, they reside in separate dimensions, and said that the divine knights slumbered within them in times long past. But that's ancient history now. You may as well go check them out for yourself. Modify ornament, uh, slot, reen. Yeah. I was kind of hoping his would be in really good shape, since, you know, he didn't supposedly drop everything on his way out, but it's not. So yeah, I'll just fully unlock this one. I can afford to unlock this one. I can afford this one. Not the other one, though. These would be cheap if I were so inclined. Cheap is subjective, now that I think about it. And this is the one I want to get up to. Okay. Ouch. This sucks, man, but I think I gotta do it. And I don't really care. Since I have so many, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock this one for her, just in case we're forced to use her for some reason. And Ash, you do you, buddy. Same old weapons. 
in case you're wondering what I'm actually looking for when I speed through these, this is actually new, I think. Um, Genbu, Biako, that type of thing. I don't even know if they'd appear here, to be honest, but that's why I'm checking. Evade. Have three of those. Make orb. Yeah, I don't care. Shop. So I make sure I miss anything obvious. And I can't afford all of these. Since we're coming back, I think I'll cross that bridge when we actually do so. So, quartz wise. We can't make a Petrify 3 here, but we could on the... Strengthening. Problem is, this is going to be extremely expensive. <laughs> it's... We have to get uh, three more of the Petrify... Or, one more of the Petrify 1, and then we can get that. So it's actually not too bad. I thought... I'd, I didn't even know I had a Petrify 2, but I did. Now that I think about it, let's take a look at his orbit. Yeah, cast two. Normally I had night... No, it was nightmare. Is someone using nightmare? Yeah, right there. Give me that, you freaking thief. Yeah, his whole thing needs work here. So, nightmare, action three. Glad I stopped to take a look at this. <laughs> Do I have an attack three to give him? Yes, I do. This is going off. This is going off. This one I'm going to hold on to. This. Uh, I'm going to do an evade one here. I guess if I'm going to keep the strike for the time being, I can upgrade that. So you know what? Give me the hit three, the strike three. And then he's going to be linked to Yuna most of the time from here on out. Dragon Vision's a little tempting. If it actually gave you, like, strength and stuff, yeah, I'd be gung-ho for it, but it doesn't. Oh, I'm missing a break. I was wondering, like, what do I normally leave there? But now I remember. So, he's set up. Not bothering to fish at the moment. Okay, we're past the hour point. Oh, are you on your feet already? You don't look bad for a guy who slept like a rock for a day straight. Guess Ole's potions must have done the trick. I guess so. I feel like I should thank you again for everything you've done for me. No, don't worry about it, dear. It's really Emma and the Elder who did most of the work. The path Destiny has laid out for you is a complex one full of hardship, but do not despair. You're back with us now, and that counts for a lot. Thank you. I intend to do whatever I can to turn things around. I haven't completely given up yet. Well, now, that's good to hear. It's a little farewell gift for me. I'll be praying for your success. Some droplets. Hexen Clan potions, huh? Thank you, ma'am. We really appreciate all the help. Don't mention it, dear. I'm just sorry we can't do more. What she said, all of us and Aaron can consider you our friends at this point. You'll get a warm welcome here anytime you stop by. Count on it. We'll be sure to take you up on that. Thanks again, Ole, in a new place. Looks like our plan was a rousing success. This calls for celebration. Operation Yormgend. Operation Meal Mirage. Sure, there's a lot going on in the outside world. This is what this is where we really make our stand against the twilight, and the worst is yet to come. Once I catch my breath, I'll get right out there and see if I can get any info that might help. We're also relieved you got your instructor back. There's still plenty of problems we need to deal with, but at least that's one victory in the books. 
Wish you the best of luck from here on. You always welcome guests here. I still have battle scopes, so I wasn't sure. Trade. Eh. I don't remember if I used one of those in the fight or not. You must be about to set out, Instructor. Do you like the outfit? I do, thank you. Are you the one who made it? That was all, Master. I just helped a little. This is really a once in a lifetime gift. I'll make sure I use it wisely. It's really quite a trifle, but your gratitude means a lot. You may you have many good people supporting you. Be sure to treasure them in turn as you walk the long road ahead. Thank you, ma'am, I will. No matter where I go, the same lesson's waiting for me. I think perhaps the instructor has some reflecting to do. You think maybe he'll finally learn to be more a little more self aware? Alright, alright, that's enough from the peanut gallery. Jeez, talk about the third degree, but I truly am blessed. It's no big deal, but I'd be overjoyed if you made good use of it. That no good Vita finally showed herself, and that's enough for me. The sacrifice has returned, and the skills of destiny have started to tip slightly. We're nearing a turning point in history. We need to ready ourselves. The master's recognized some of my progress. She's going to start teaching me divination. I'm only going to be instructing you on the fundamentals, to be clear. Also, I'm doubling the length of your practice session starting today. Surely you can handle that much by now, yes? Yes, Master, I'll do my best. Which train seems really tough. Okay, all that's left is Luxune, I think. I wonder if there's a new recipe here. There's a lot of people to talk to. Looks like you Thor's gets a match to reunite with each other at last. This calls for a celebration. Then again, I guess there are a lot of your old classmates that are still unaccounted for. Hope they're alright. No, you must be worried about them. They'll turn up eventually. So you're leaving soon. Are you sure you're going to be alright, Reen? Thanks to you, yes, I feel fine. I'm really grateful you've taken care of the students while I wasn't here. That's, weird. That's sweet of you to say. These kids are practically family to me now. I don't mind looking after them whenever needed. Hey, you're making us sound like a bunch of hopeless children that need supervision. We're the ones that had to save you, remember? Yeah, you're in exactly the picture of a responsible adult. Not to mention she was helping us with the whole rescue operation, not babysitting us. That's besides the point. I'm your instructor, aren't I? It's my job to look out for you guys. Instructor Rain, I must say that overprotective side of yours is just adorable. There she goes again. It's nice to see you've all cheered up. You should know the Soul Shrine is one of the most ancient of its kind. It's connected to a massive spirit vein. There's gotta be some reason behind them calling you there at this point in time. Make sure you're all ready to go and be prepared for anything. Thanks for the advice. Okay. So we'll talk to the Cold Steel crew before talking to the Crossbell and Sky crew. I have to thank you, Principal Aureli. I mean, General O'Gwyn. I understand how much of a risk it must have been for you to help us. It was nothing. Now that you're feeling more up to it, how about you join me for a drink? They're absolutely exquisite. Now that I expect any, any less out of one of the Purple Lightning's recommendations. Uh, this one's flavored with sprigs of lavender. Ain't that something? It's got such a refined taste, and it's so refreshing you just won't put it. You just won't want to put it down. Of course, that means you might get a little tipsy. I'll pass. It's still early in the day. I've got my students to think of. Laura, Fee, what are you guys drinking? Same thing as Sarah. Except mine's booze free. I'm also sticking with the non-alcoholic version. Maybe old enough to drink now, but I see no reason to get inebriated during the day. I've tried the non-alcoholic one before. Can't say I understand why it's such a hit in comparison. Well, we've built up quite a tolerance ourselves. It takes much more to cut loose sometimes. So it's a lavender ale, then. kind of want to try one myself, but I don't know if I'd really like how it tastes. Drinks of that nature are commonly quite bitter. I don't see the point in them. Bitterness has its own charm, you know, like with green tea. Personally, I don't have a problem with it. Guess the kiddies just don't understand classier tastes. Who asked you? You're in no position to lecture us on sophistication, Ash. Just like old times. It does sound like a pretty interesting drink, though. Maybe I'll come back and try it some other time. Trying it like this, ale's not as bad as I thought it'd be. The boss is more of a bourbon type. Anyway, I have to wait till I'm old enough for anything that actually has alcohol in it. You have to remember she's younger than the other students. Ale has never been a passion of mine, but the lavender fa flavor makes this quite refreshing. Glad I took a chance to try something new. I don't mean to be overly assertive about this matter, but it'd be an honor to share a drink with you in the near future, Schwarzer. The honor would be mine. Although I don't really know how long I'd be able to keep up with you. 
always kind of wanted to share a drink with the general, actually. Don't worry, though. I'm not going to overdo it or anything. And now the prequel, guys. Nice to see you, Randy, Agate. It's about time you showed up. I'm really digging this new look on you. You upped your game since I last saw you last. It's probably just the clothes. They were custom-made, apparently. Right. Guess we're going to be working together again, huh? I should officially introduce myself. I'm Ren Bright. I believe you and my father are practitioners of the same school. She's referring to Cassius. So Cassius is the first school, Reen is the second currently. But Reen's other moves do draw from the other schools. Spoiler. Really? As in Lieutenant General Cassius Bright. Never met him myself, but my master used to talk about him a lot. I'm Reen Schwarzer. Pleasure to meet you, Ren. And thanks for the help before. You're welcome. He doesn't seem phased at all. He's a lot calmer than I expected him to be. Something about him reminds me of Luve, though. Should probably keep an eye on him. I see you're here, too. Guess this is the first time we've seen each other since Crossbell, huh? That's the birdcage, if you don't remember. Something looks a little different about you. Did you change your hairstyle? I sure did. It's been three months since we've seen each other now. For those who don't know me, I'm Kia Banny. It's nice to meet you all. Nice to have you. Good to have you with us, Kia. I'm really grateful for all the help you've given us so far. It's no problem. You're the key to all our possible futures, Reen. So if there's anything else I can do for you, go ahead and ask. Am I really that important? Trust her. Kia Kido's got a sixth sense about this stuff. I forgot what her nickname is. Oh, Kiddo. That's right. It must be some kind of holdover from when she was a Septarian. Yeah, because that's just something you hear about every day. At this point, I don't think we have any choice but to believe it. To be clear, does that mean Instructor Reen's return has cleared a path to save the future? Sorry, I can't see that far ahead. I just know we have a chance now. All comes down to what you guys decide to do next. That's what will open up the way forward. Oh. So in place we can go, to where Crow Armbrust is waiting. He also piloted a Divine Knight, yeah? It's not all, he was a member of Class 7 in his day, too. Guess things are starting to heat up, huh? Yeah, this is where our story really starts. Randy, Agate, thank you so much for everything. Don't mention it. Come on, no need to be so formal, we're way past that now. Right, whatever you say. Oh my god, there's another one? Are you two planning to go back to the Bobcat, too? Yeah, I'm going to search west to Erebonia next. Still haven't had word from Tita or Sherazard. I'll be heading east to meet up with Estelle and the others. I'll see what I can find out from there. Let's all keep each other posted if we learn anything new. Sounds good to me. I wonder where Tita is now. Hopefully she's with everyone else from the branch campus. Agreed, we still have to find a few of them, not to mention Instructor Toa. At the very least, I find it unlikely that the government would risk harming Tita. Even if she has been captured, they treat her well for the circumstances. You really know how to take in the whole picture, don't you, Duchess? It's nice to meet a different kind of genius for once. I'll keep an eye out for Tita, too. Then maybe when this all blows over, we can have tea together. I have some delicious Eastern blends I've been saving. Plus, we can even play some games together. That sounds lovely. I get the feeling you make for a fun opponent. Yeesh. Wouldn't want to get caught in the middle of those two going at it. Yeah, I'm glad they're on our side. Tita ain't a pushover or anything. She overcame so much during the incident in the laboral. I'll try to dig up some info and share while I'm at it. I'll contact you if I find out anything. That'd be great, thanks. There's no doubt that Muse and I are different kinds of geniuses. Let's have tea together someday. Does it sound enjoyable? And there's a third one here. <laughs> so, will you two be going back to the Bobcat too? Yep, I'm off to search East Erebonia next, but Keto here is going to have them drop her off back in Crosswell once things are wrapped up. Well, that's only if I can find some clue about where Tio might be. I wish there was something I could do to help. Don't stack so much on your plate, Uni. You got your own part in this you gotta take care of. Let me handle Tiota. You just focus on finding Toa and the other students. See you later, you know, I'll let you know the second we learn anything new. Down to the second, huh? We'll stand the lookout for Tio too wherever we can. Say hi to Lloyd for me when you get home, Kia. You got it. Maybe you two will even get the chance to meet up again sometime. That'd be nice. It's weird to try to it's weird trying to imagine Lloyd and Instructor Ring getting along. True, but I suppose they have no reason to fight right now, given all the motivating factors involved. See you later, you know, I'll let you know as soon as we find learn anything new. Okay, take care, Kia. Anyway, we'll probably end up running into each other again. Let's both be careful out there now. For now, got it? And then we could play her in cards, but I am carded out. Okay, so I think we need to go in the clearing to leave, because that's where the Merkaba's parked. people to talk to, and also Valmar, looks like. 
Alberia wouldn't put a cork in it, so I came along to scope things out, too. It's really amazing, though. I never could imagine seeing one thing so impressive on so many at once. I know I said it before, but I'm glad you made it back safely, Reen. Drop by and stay with us anytime, okay? No reservation needed. Thanks, Dean. I'll be sure to take you up on that. Whoa, this is so awesome. Divine Knights, Panzer Solettes, even a ship from the church. You seen this, Dean? The outside world's chock full of things like this. Yeah, they really are amazing. Wait, what the heck is he bragging for? Okay. Church is Merkaba and Josette's Bobcat, too. Should probably go thank everyone who saw me before we depart. Okay, I was curious if we could examine them for scenes, but it looks like we have to talk to Valimar first. Valimar and Milium, too. Back then, it was as if their thoughts flooded in my mind along with the voices of all my friends. They said they'd pledge their aid to me, or at least I think they did. Instructorine? I have to do better, for Valimar and Milium both. Actually, no, that's not quite right. I made my mind to set my eyes on the future no matter what. No matter how much I stumble and fall, I'll make it past any challenge, rivalries or otherwise. And I'll have both of you at my side, by the way. All the way. Instructor? My, he's certainly firing himself up, isn't he? We'll offer you as much support in the rivalries as we can as well. Not like you got a choice. We're opening ourselves in, no ma in this no matter what. Okay, I finally reached my vocal limit. Give me a second to drink something. Okay, we had one little reprieve there with Thomas and Rosine, but otherwise, yeah. There's a limit why I tr There's a reason I try to limit my visual novel stuff to an hour at most. The Church's Merkaba and Josette's Bobcat, too. Take care of all my thanks, maybe it's time we head to Brionia. Let's depart. I really can't thank you all enough. Ren, Kia, and Jingo too, we owe you our gratitude. I'll make sure I pass it on to Estelle and the others for you. Have fun. I'll do the same to Lord and them too. Give them Gehenna out there. I'm going to provide the branch campus students with support while I keep searching for Tio Top. I'll be in contact if I find out anything. Okay, you watch out for yourself too, Randy. And I'll link up with the other braces while I search for Tita. Sarah, Fee, good luck. Same to you. Give our best to Sherazard. Though our paths may split here for a time, the potential for our cooperation is still on the board. Take care, Lady Mildeen. Best of luck to you all. And to you as well, General. Don't you need to freak out just yet with the Black Whirlwind on your side. That's Bardius, if I remember. Give my best to the Brigadier General as well. May fortune be on your side. Emma, Selene, Grandmother? I'm grateful we had the chance to see each other, even if it's on the shorter side. Our future may be a rocky one, but do remember to be kind to yourselves. Vita, don't push yourself too much either, okay? Or you could stay in touch for once at the very least. Don't hesitate to let us know if you require our assistance. It's about time we left. Gaius, Rosine, thank you all for your help. The gratitude is ours. We may not have succeeded had it not been for your support. We'll be off then. Just let me know if you guys need anything. I'll be over in a flash. Thanks, Josette. We appreciate it. Take care of yourselves out there. I suppose we best head on ourselves. May I transfer tests to the Divine Nine and Panzer Solides have been completed. Let's go then. Thanks for everything, guys. Seriously. It's because of everyone's help that we're all staying together right now. We'll be sure to repay the favor someday. There's no need for that. You're one of us now. Feel free to come back and visit any time. Safe travels, everyone. Off you go. Make sure you give them what for. You got it. Let's do this, guys. Right.
We are now entering Tyhenian Plateau airspace. The current time is 1324. Where shall I plot our course? Malva Coast. Actually, no. Through the Olbia Lowlands. Circle around the peninsula and proceed west along the river, and then head north and swoop over the Bolera Sea. Aye, aye, Captain. Looks like we managed to avoid their Air Force surveillance network. This is unbelievable. Almost feels like we're cheating the system. Never had a chance to see the bridge while we were escaping the workshop. So this is the Merkaba. It's used as a special operations craft by the Growl's Raiders' dominions. Yes, I inherited from Father Barkhorn, along with my stigma. I had some adjustments made in the Holy City to help better tune the two together. Holy City of Arteria, home to the High Seat of the Septian Church. Get the feeling that certain foundations have been providing some assistance with the equipment here on the bridge too, right? I'm afraid we're unavailable for comment on that one. Sorry, it's kind of a matter of political discretion. I see, makes sense. It's only to be expected for a ship that doesn't officially exist. We'll have to take a small detour. We should arrive at Brioni Island in around an hour. I know the ship is in the room yet, but feel free to make your make it your own until our arrival. We'll try, thanks guys. Are we allowed to get on out on deck? What about the reference room, sick bay, and workshop? You may go about however you please. The only place that's off limits is the engine room. On to the search for a place to nap, then. So you guys had some sort of bar counter down below. Think I'll go hit me a bottle or two. I'm about to hit you with a bottle or two if you don't knock it off. Please try to restrain yourself. We're going to need you at your best later. Eh, he's going to be sitting on the bench if I have him my way. Crow's going to be waiting at that island shrine, no doubt about it. Then we'll finally get the truth about these rivalries, no matter how hopeless or brutal that truth may be. Anyway, it seems this floor has a sick bay, a break room, and a few other facilities. The other floor is a lounge, a workshop, a reference room, and a train room. Only one hour until we reach the island. Maybe we'll go speak with everyone again. Oh, God. Well, inside the Merkava, you control Reen on his own. Story will proceed once you've seen all the required events in each area. Added note for Gaius. What is this? Doesn't seem to be any noteworthy information displayed on it. Don't really think we need to use this now, so I think that's how we report our stuff. So I'm looking at the captain of a covert operation ship, huh? Gotta say it suits you guys. I wouldn't say I've gotten my sky legs just yet. Far from it, in fact. Got so much to learn, and I need to get a hold of it fast so I'm to be of any use to you guys. I've got a really inexperienced captain at the helm, Marine. Hope you can bear with me through all the bumps on the course. You're way too hard on yourself, guys. We've got plenty of room for improvement, too. I think we both stand to learn something from working together, so just keep at it, okay? You went straight to the Merkaba Terminal, huh? Yes, I may not be as proficient as Lisa, but I want to help as much as I can. You were doing this kind of work when you were in military finance, weren't you? I think it's great you want to help, even with everything you have going on yourself. You really are a one-of-a-kind girl, Musa. I thank you so much. Honestly, I was wavering at first, but you and the others saw through the front I put up and confronted me about my true feelings. And that's why I decided to be with Class 7 as Musa. I see. You really are in for it now, Instructor. Because from here on out, I'm going to redouble my efforts to steal your heart. I shudder to think how you could be even more assertive than you've already been. But if you're being serious, then I'll take you seriously, too. Oh. Understood. So yes, that means you can finally romance your students, if that's your thing. Irene, yes? I'm Elrond, Squire. I serve Father Thomas. I'm here as a temporary pilot for Unit 8. It's an honor to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Looking forward to working with you. I've heard much more... I've heard much and more about Class 7 from not only Father Gaius, but from Father Thomas and Rosine as well. It's a real honor to meet you. I expect you have a tough journey ahead, but I hope our paths cross in the future. So, let me see if... Can we see it? There's supposed to be a way you can actually see the relationship stuff. Hold on, this ca... Oh, wait. For, I misread that for a second. I was about to say, what? But, yeah. I don't know. But before we forget... Can't go anywhere without a Mishi. So this is where you've been. Green. The basis of magical treatment for injuries is mostly in self-healing. You need to check on our medical supplies just in case. And I know that you're not going to listen if I tell you to be careful, so you'd best be prepared. I won't back down easily this time, Reen. You can be pretty stick about stuff like this, huh? Did you decide to stop wearing your glasses again? It's been a while since I've seen you like that, and it's making my heart skip way too many beats. I'm starting to think I might want to keep this site all to myself. So that is one of the Link events from Cold Steel 3. I'm surprised that they actually track that. What you said back then made me so happy, but... Sorry, Emma, please forget about that. You mentioned that your glasses suppress your magic, right? In that case, I think it's fine for you to not wear them. Thanks, Reen. Well, 
Laura, what are you doing here? I thought I'd take a quick break before we get to the island. Is everything okay? Sorry, I'm fine. Rain into the sun, but do you play Vantage Masters? Sometimes, yeah. I'm guessing you do too. It's kind of surprising. I suppose. I mean, I did begin playing Blade due to everyone's influence back at Thor's, but Vantage Masters has been really taken off in Lagram these last six months or so. Father began playing at the request of some children in town. For some reason, even I ended up with a deck of cards. I see, even Viscount Arsaid. Yes, it's possible this was due to how well versed in strategy he was, but he was quite good at it, really. Even if I begin to practice properly again, I doubt I'd be able to reach this level anytime soon. But I don't want these cards to get me to just send a box somewhere gathering dust. I'd much rather do something with them and improve my own skills. Would you play a match against me now and then to help me practice? Laura. Sure, I'd be happy to. You can now play Vantage Masters against Laura. So. Let's talk first. Uh, ah, she just repeats that. <sighs> okay, come on. I assume she has knight. Yep. Let us begin our duel. So you do have to worry about knight powering up to the point where he just one shots everything. And I'm gonna put Zampen and that one away just in case we get a Reiku. So I do need a crystal here. Blah. Pew pew! But I need to get my range guys going so we can cut through his... He's probably just gonna use his power non-stop now that I think about it. But he does need to sit out front if he wants to counterattack and stuff. Or do that. turn into a monster. <laughs> he can kill me in two turns. On turn two. So I'm going to go forward to power up. I am going to drop this so I don't die horribly. Since I'm protected for one turn, we'll go ahead and do the zappy zap, zappy And we need to start pelting him. Okay, when he uses that, he can't attack, can he? Okay, good, just wanted to verify that. <laughs> so we're gonna step back. Shoot that. Drop the Zamba pen. And good to have Riku commit suicide here. He's worth the card draw right now. And I want to test something next turn, so I'm not doing anything more. Yes, I can hit him without a consequence. And bad things are gonna happen if I don't kill the blicks. <laughs> it ends next. Does it? Oh man, I could have ended it this turn. I wasn't paying attention. Crystals can appear because all the spots are occupied. It'd be kind of nice if they just gave it to someone who had a skill or something, you know, but. Yeah.
I concede. You are the victor. Yeah, submit yourself to these shackles. So let's see if I can luck out like... Well, uh, like a Let us begin our duel. <laughs> we'll keep it a little friendly. Son of a... Actually, no, I'm cool keeping the Zampen. I don't want him killing my ranged dude there. Next turn we can drop the Zampen or the Fairy and we'll be good. And that's the Dumdala there is the reason why sometimes you actually are pretty well off. Damn it. I'm trying to get someone with three power ASAP. We could kill almost any monster he plays if we could deal three damage consistently. Okay, we'll drop the Zamapen. I wasn't looking at the table thing there, I was wondering, does Heaven beat Fire, or what's the relationship, but it's not one that helps me. Uh, we want this one on the field, and we have enough damage here now to kill him. We actually had, yeah, we need one extra point. And the Dundal has to go and screw everything up. I'm gonna let this die just to free up the space because I think a crystal's gonna drop. Oh, that's right, we did not have enough damage there because that would count as the Zamapen turn. instead... no. I'm gonna still do it, though, because... well, it's not gonna matter this game. That's <laughs> all it really comes down to. I concede. You are the victor. Three U materials. Okay, that's the shower. Um, going back up because I want to go outside before we go downstairs. Instructor Reen, hello. Didn't know you two were out here. The ship is something, huh? It is something, yes. It's quite impressive on a technical level. Far more than your average airship. And then we got Lloyd and the others on a different ship, too. Can't believe it's come down to risky tactics like this. Rakaba's main engine is supplying Valimor with energy. Same goes for your Panzer Soldats. By linking up to the engine, they also receive a stable energy supply and are automatically tracked. No matter how you look at it, this is definitely a technology from the Epstein Foundation at use here. We're also developing a pseudo-optical camouflage field based on my observations. The Gorals are might just be as technologically advanced as the as Ouroboros and the Gnomes. Yeah, that definitely seems to check out. I gotta say, guys and Rosine are just awesome amazing, you know? What I mean is, we're really lucky to call them our friends. I'm so grateful for them, honestly. 
They're in Rian's class, not yours. Don't get ahead of yourself. Could agree more. You know, you know, your ability to speak exactly from the heart never ceases to awesome maze. All right, Allie. Don't think I can't pick up on the sarcasm. No, I meant that sincerely. If anything, there was only 0.1% sarcasm at most. Hey. Instructor Reen? I heard from Lisa and Yusis that you kicked everyone into gear with the quite the intense pep talk. Not to mention you guys confronted Ash and Muse when they both have gone astray and cleared the path for them to rejoin Class 7. What you've accomplished is nothing short of amazing. I can tell just how hard you've been working. Oh no. Come on, it's nothing special or amazing, or anything. But it is. You led the charge for all of us while Instructor Reen was MIA. MIA. Colonel still has some generous words to say about you. Wait, really? Thank you, Yuna. You stepped up in a major way when I was at my weakest. I just... I don't know just what we'll face when we reach the island. But you've inspired me to be the best instructor possible to you guys. Can't let my own student do a better job than me, now can I? Let's make it happen, Yuna. And you too, Altina. Of course. Alright then, come on, count me in. Yuna? Had a lot of regrets when you were gone, instructor. Why didn't I say anything earlier? Guess I just couldn't handle being honest with you about this. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart, Reen. Around two years ago, you saved me and my siblings' lives. It was around the time you first came to Crossbell as the Ashen Chevalier. You rescued a girl and some young kids who were thrown out of a civilian truck and abandoned. Though you probably don't even remember who they were. No, I remember it well, you know. A head of bright pink hair like yours isn't something you can just forget. I didn't pick up on it when we first met, but I put two and two together one day during class. The way you shielded your siblings with your body after being thrown from the truck. It just solidified for me what lengths someone from the police academy was willing to go to. But why didn't you say anything earlier? All the time I spent worrying about this, this is the worst. I'm sorry, Yuna, I guess I should have known this would happen. To tell you the truth, what happened back there in Crossbell made a huge impact on me. Being able to help you guys in the midst of all that conflict put things into perspective in a way. It saved me. So, maybe I should be the one thanking you. I had no idea. Still, what do you have to thank me for? When I look at them, all I see is two close friends. I suppose I'm a little jealous. I forgot to give you this. Aaron Pendant. This is the pendant for that Emma once gave me. Yes, I came by when we were all separated at the Growl. It was broken, so I asked Emma and some others to help me fix it. I see, I was about to say that it did seem to have a different shine than to it than before. However, with how things have turned out, I don't believe you'll be able to use it to control your ogre form. Even so, it is imbued with my feelings and Emma's magic. Hope you'll find it useful. Altina, even saying thank you isn't enough. I'll make good use of this. That makes me happy to hear. I thought you'd have forgotten about that. You had no idea how hard it was for me to thank you. Glad I was able to, though. Feel bad for not noticing what was eating away at you. Okay, so what's the pendant? Oh, crud, I still have that, so... Mm, I don't know, but we're gonna definitely replace that coin. Uh, this one. Guess we're fishing for crits, boys. Okay, next up is over here. What do we have here? Machias, are you doing some work for the Government Accountability Inspectorate? Yeah, I was hoping they might obtain some intel at the same time. Maybe I'd hear from Stefan. Stefan, he was in the same chess club as you, wasn't he? Heard that he was working on something for the Orbital Network of the Imperial Army. Indeed, but because of the nature of his job, he doesn't seem to have any external contacts. I was hoping I'd be able to contact him and they'd be able to help us out in some way or another, but... Probably can't be helped, considering the situation. Anyway, you've been working really hard. You should take a break. Probably right. By the way, you play Palm Party, don't you? Looks like it was added to my Arcus too at some point. It's perfect. Give me my account ID. Challenge me when you have some free time. You got it. Now play Pom Party, Pom Pom Party against Machius. Up until the National Mobilization Law was enacted, I was in contact with Seven. But even if I could get a message through to him, it'd probably just cause him problems. I'll have to give up. So yes, we'll play him. Let's start the match. How do I turn these again? Okay, we want this one here. Uh, I don't have 
have a really good spot for this one. Let's drop it here. I don't know what determines when they go up or not. Major jumps there. Actually, I actually want this one here. Okay, a little worried about the side there. I should have went over one actually. Uh, this is fine where it's at. I guess as long as the middle is open, it's okay. Well, let's call checkmate. Uh, how do I do it? I give up! You win. Otherwise, he'd just do that to me. First victory bonus, so I want, I'm gonna try off camera playing it a little bit more to see if I get more U materials then. Let's start just here, I didn't realize you were here. I took a lap around the ship, and this spot seemed like a nice one. Can you believe they even have a training room? Though I suppose the ship is exclusively set up for Dominion operations after all. It's, it's crazy, the number of facilities they have are here makes my head spin. It just goes to show how we, much we really don't know about the Septian Church and the Foundation, huh? That aside, I'm thinking about working up a sweat here since we got the opportunity. Maybe a good idea for you to do the same. I'll definitely be doing that when I find some spare time. Oh, that's the cat. Hey, Yusus, Ash, spending a little time reading? We were until you started trying to strike up a conversation. Yusus here got a hold of a pretty nice book. Really, what's it about? Geography, the agricultural history, management techniques, that kind of thing. Essentially, it's a guide to making the most out of your land. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Might even be able to use that in one of my classes. You surprised me, Ash. I knew you were in the literature club, but I didn't think you'd be into this sort of reading. With everything going on, it just doesn't feel right to be reading fiction. Besides, we've no reason to turn down a chance to read something I'd never buy myself. Fair point. There's a kind of logic in that. How do you find time? You're so studious, even now you've got a book with you. Just trying to make up for a lack of experience with theoretical knowledge. Cruzan deserves a capable ruler. Besides, it helps keep the anxious thoughts at bay. Useless. Son of pitiful dentent. Still, we both have many responsibilities to attend to. Well, our next task awaits us on the island. Let's concentrate on that. Right. I spend my free time doing something that is completely worthless. I gain to read books that I can't afford by myself for free. That I couldn't afford by myself for free seemed like a no-brainer. Yeah, I misread that first. Got any recipes, Kurt? So you're buying the counter today, Kurt? Yes, I've never done anything like this before, but I thought it'd be a good experience. We're doing it on rotation with other volunteers. I'll be taking my turn at some point too. To be honest, I feel a little awkward making requests for the old class seven. You'll get used to it. It's like I told you, we're all equal here. Right, Reen? Yes, you're not just a student to me, Kurt. I also count you among my most dependable allies. Thank you, Instructor. Coming from you, that really means a lot. I'll do everything I can to live up to those expectations. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Perhaps a drink. We have a wide variety of options available. If you insist. Speaking of Elliot, made me realize just how considerate everyone in old Class 7 is, but because of that, it makes me feel like we needed to meet, the expe meet their expectations in a way. You're a hard act to follow. How can I help you? Holy pecky! We can buy more ears. I don't know who I'm gonna slap these on, but yeah, we'll get them. Can get an extra Michian Mona. And my headset! He found it! Please come again. How can I help you? Yeah, I know, I'm spending my precious clean. 
stuff that's not essential. Not by any stretch of the imagination. And he has all the Please stuff come again. There. How can I help you? Please come again. So he's now the head junk shop guy. So glad I have people I can rely on. Two years older than Kurt and the others, so I want to show they can rely on me too. I think they already know that. Brother Ryuna. Still have to introduce myself. I'm Brother Ryuna from Grails Road HQ. I was in charge of coordinating the transfer of station from Father Barkhorn to Father Gaius. So and so I travel with you now while performing final preparations, offering whatever assistance I'm available I'm able. Warm and some are my specialties, so please do not hesitate to let me know if there's anything I can do to help you maintain yours. Your expertise is very much appreciated. So take a quick peek. We saw the same things there, so I assume there's no new weapons or anything. See, I may... I probably should have gotten the most weapons. <laughs> so, if I wanted to upgrade them still, it's 5U materials each. We'll make do. Situation with the Spear Vance and Westerns and has reached a crisis point. Lower Morgas is spreading in numerous locations, and powerful spiritual entities are beginning to appear. Please be careful out there. Only set out once you're completely ready. So, I don't think there's anything here. Oh, are you doing weapon maintenance and repair? Yeah, mostly adjusting my gun unit. Is something wrong? It's nothing. Anyway, the situation being we're in being what it is. I feel I feel I have to do whatever I can to get stronger. That way I'll be able to protect everyone, including you, better than ever. Fight fee. It feels good to have you supporting me. So that's the way out. Can you use this one in the air, but only at great cost. I don't know, Reen, if you flap your arms fast enough. Got milk, Selene? One of it. I was feeling thirsty. And there we go. What are you sitting down like that for? Well, I was thinking about it, and I realized I hadn't thanked you properly. I'll pass. You never need to in the first place, you know. Humor me, then, just this once. Thank you, Selene. I mean it. You're always there for me when the going gets tough. And the fact that I made it this far is, without a doubt, thanks to you. It's just part of my mission, is all. Hardly anything worth thanking. You're right. Words alone aren't enough to describe how grateful I am to you, Selene. These times are sure to calm down at some point. So once I do, I hope you'll allow me the honor of properly paying you back. Ah, oh, so you're such a goody two-shoes. It hurts sometimes. Fine, fine, but just know I won't be expecting much. So all that's left are the guys in the... Oh, wait, we didn't talk to Slane the second time. You're a pretty solid guy, you know that? Guess it never hurts to receive some more words of gratitude. Interesting, so you're already using the latest OS, huh? Right, seeming equipped with a special developer mode. I assume that you're familiar with it, Elisa. I was fortunate enough to be trained in it, yeah. Can I borrow the manual? I bet I could spend all day soaking it in and... Sure, here you go. Not waste any time jumping in, huh? Well, the Squires have to return eventually, right? Hopefully I can lighten the load a bit this way. Though I do plan to stay at your service a little while longer. Well, I'd love to have help the crew out however I can, too, so just let me know if there's anything you need. Then again, I can't be sure how things might turn out here at Brioni, I Brioni Island. Green. I understand. I can only imagine what Crow's intentions may be. But I believe the conversation you had for will ultimately prove how significant for you in Class 7. Yeah, that much is for sure. Elisa? No, it's nothing. Try to take it easy, okay? We have to make sure you're rested, you're rested before we meet with Crow. We do have a break room as well as a lounge down below. Just relax for now. Feel free to go up on deck if you think it might help. Leave the ship to me, you can take a break. There's crow to think about too. You need to get rest when you can. By the way, Reen. I take you, you uh, your copies of the black records have been lost. I'm afraid so. After all the work you went through, you did decoding it for us too. Sorry, Rosie, now I don't know what to say. Given the circumstances, there's not a whole lot that could have been done. But you should know that Father Thomas brought all the analysts back to, all the analysis data back to the holy city of Arteria. Over the Congregation for the Sacraments grants us permission to investigate, we will store it in the reference room of the Merkaba. We'll begin the rest in over time, in sequential order, of course. If you'd like to see the contents, feel free to visit the reference room. I see, it sounds great, thank you. Just one more in a long list of things we owe you for, Rosine. It goes both ways, I assure you. You can now read the black records in the reference room. Number of readable materials will increase to progress with the story. Black records we have permission to review are in the reference room. We're welcome to take a look through them. You did collect them, after all. So can we warp down there to them? Reference room. 
I think when we go to the bridge, that'll trigger the scene. Never mind. To all passengers, we set course for Brioni Island. That's my arrival time, 30 minutes from now. The scrolls for a battleship sure is fast. Wonder what awaits us on the island. You feel it too, right? The knowledge that our destiny is coming in hot. I'd be more than willing to stay by you until we're ready to go. I have to keep moving forward, no matter what future lies ahead of me. I want to worry my friends. Maybe I should go wash my face. Is this not the reference room? Oh, over here. So I'm just going to open these to get them in the book. Because I... Th there might be another achievement for all these. Yeah, they stop sparkling after you do it. So those are the Imperial Chronicles. I don't know if it's from Cold Steel 1, 2, or 3. Emperor Shots, so that's from 1. Okay, this is Cold Steel 2. Or, no, this is actually the first set from Cold Steel 1. The other ones may appear later. Um, showers. So once we actually set foot on the island, I'm going to put a break in the video. Because this is almost hitting the two hour point and I don't want to go crazy excessive on these. Phew. This is a reflection going to start talking to him. Silver hair and red eyes, like I'm a vampire from some old legend. Guess the Nosferatu were victims of the Empire's curse too, in a way. But when it comes to me as a sacrifice, they're almost cute in comparison. Elisa, did you need to use the bathroom? I'll be out in just a sec. Ah. Elisa? Sorry for doing that all of a sudden, it's just... Your hair, your eyes, they aren't going back to normal, are they? Probably not. You don't like it? I was thinking it looked kinda cool. You always be cool, no matter how you look. You're an important person to all of us, more than anyone, especially to... Sorry about that. I must be more tired than I thought. Hope that didn't seem too weird. I'll be heading down to the lounge now. I'd like to take a look through that ship manual Rosine gave me. Sure. She's acting a little weird. More than a little. Though she obviously has a lot to deal with, considering everything that's happening. Still, I can't help but worry sometimes, even with a close friend. Alright, guess I'll head to the bridge. Then I should go speak with Gaius. So I think this is it, because we're kind of running out of things to do. Let's run over to Rosine real quick, in case there's something different. Nope, exact same. Doesn't seem too, like too much longer until Brioni Island, huh? Yes, the security level over the seas is about as relaxed as you'd expect. We do, however, need to think about where we'll be landing. The landing dock itself is too exposed to orders, and the Imperial Navy is starting to amass itself over in Juno. I see. The island's full of cliffs, so our options outside the landing dock are pretty severely limited. Sandy Beach up on the northwest end is probably our best bet. Thought just the same. You, so you did. How long have you had that pulled up on screen? Again, you did help us out on Brioni Island just a few months back, didn't you? Send the coins we sent you there, so that means... You got me. I was dropped off from Father Thomas's Merkaba on her way home. Rosine and Brother Elrond ho helped me out quite a bit back then as well. Though we couldn't really return until after the Durflinger had departed. We were at the risk of being discovered by Ouroboros, after all. So we had to pull out not too long after the drop-off, unfortunate as that was. I see. I can understand why. In any case, after that experience, that sandy beach should be no trouble at all. We have about 20 minutes until you arrive. You should prepare to land. Got it. I've already made my rounds. Maybe I'll just wait here at the bridge. So, yeah, I'll just wait. There's nothing else to do.
pointed view of Brioni Island. Wow, look at that. I remember that silhouette quite well. So that's what it looks like way up here. A nostalgic sight to say the least. Yeah, it's been almost two years now, huh? Yes, this is where Group B conducted their field studies, correct? Yeah, back when Group A was over in the Nord Highlands. That one was sure was a doozy, no thanks to Laura and Fee over here. If you don't remember, they failed because the two would not cooperate with each other. Those days are long past now, thankfully. What can I say? I was young back then. You still seem rather young to me, Fee. Now that you bring it up, I stopped up by the island on the way to Nord, too. Did you really? Feels just like our days back in school, huh? Yeah, it really does. As discussed, we'll soon be making a stealthy landing on the beach. Prepare to touch down, everyone. Close that two-hour mark, guys. Chop, chop. All right, Rosine, we'll leave the Merkaba to you. If the Navy or the Air Force show up, pull on some distance between you. Very well. The Divine Knights and Panzers are ready to ship out any time. Don't hesitate to call on me. Thanks, I appreciate it. I'll probably have to summon Valamar myself, though. Yes. All depends on the result of this rivalry. Alright, sounds like you all know what you're doing. Be careful out there. Right, we better get going. This is the first time I've been here. Do you guys know the way of the shrine? Yes, we only need to follow that path. Then, just before we reach the waterfall, we head southwest. That leads to the wharf where the shrine is. I think I remember the place you're talking about. Yeah, it was some kind of little altar around there. It wasn't a full-blown shrine, however. It must have been appeared after the Civil War. Yeah, it's probably still there. Just hope Crow's waiting for it there for us. Right. We've got a real big group this time, huh? How about we get going? Be careful, everybody. We're talking about something created by the gnomes and the witches over a thousand years ago. Crow was there last time. Let's hope he's still there. To the Soul Shrine. So do I have to take everyone, or how... Okay, yeah, they're all here. Oh boy. So, we'll have to see what options we have for cheese in the next video. I'm the